the Realm. My name is Shay. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about The Dinosaur Lords by Victor Milan. This is the book. It was published by Tor in 2015 and I believe this is book one of the continued series followed by Dinosaur Knights and Dinosaur Princess. So what is The Dinosaur Lords about anyway? Is it about lords running dinosaurs? Well, yes it is, but there's also more to the dinosaurs than what the title suggests. Some dinosaurs are used for war, some dinosaurs are used to farm, while other dinosaurs dinosaurs are used to hunt or to be hunted. The beginning opens up with Rob Corgan, who is a dinosaur master and the occasional bard. He's herding his group of dinosaurs, which is a very pastoral setting, when he witnesses a battle scene with two of the greatest commanders of all time. So here are my three reasons why I like the Dinosaur Lords and why you should read it. Number one, the storyline. The storyline starts off with two different points of views. One, you follow Rob Corgan, who is the dino master and the mysterious befallen hero named Carl. Together they travel to solve mysteries and to find answers as to what's happening in the world. And number two, you have the Emperor and his two daughters Melodia and Monste at the Imperial Court, where there's a conspiracy that turns its ugly hand against the royal family. Number two, the world building. Victor Milan did a fantastic job creating this world where humans and dinosaurs can coexist. And I really like the idea of the eight creators. It seems like he created this perfect blend of Greek mythology, Roman and imperialism, medieval time period, and also the renaissance culture. And number three, the dinosaurs. The way the dinosaurs are represented in this society was very well executed. Plus, you get to see knights jousting dinosaurs, which was the most epic scene I've ever read. Warning, do not mess with Snowflake. My favorite character would probably be Shira. She was the most interesting and fascinating dinosaur, and you got to read from her point of view. And her story is so tragic because she's trying to find her lost mother, which ends up being the knight that she lost during the battle scene. I really like Shira and I'd like to see more of her and her point of view in the upcoming sequel. The only thing I think this book was missing was more illustrations. Maybe Richard Anderson and Victor Milan can jump on the dino bandwagon and actually create the book of true names which is mentioned in this book. Overall the Dinosaur Lords is a fun, chaotic, and terrifying read. If you like dinosaur battle scenes with a touch of drama, disorder, and the supernatural then the Dinosaur Lords is the book for you. To find out more about Victor Milan and the Dinosaur Lords, please visit his website and his Twitter. I'm going to put the links in the description below. And if you liked my book review of the Dinosaur Lords, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more book fantasy goodness. Bye!